What's pop locking and dropping YouTube? It's your boy J Less, and I'm back at it with another video here. And in this video, you guys are gonna see some Borderlands 2 gameplay. Yeah, so the topic of this commentary basically is gonna be expanding your gaming portfolio or branching out into other genre of games that you normally wouldn't see yourself branching out to. I normally play Call of Duty and Madden all year round. Ever since Black Ops 1, I've, I've always played Madden, Call of Duty, Madden, Call of Duty. And this is the first year where I found myself in a predicament. Because, frankly, Infinite Warfare sucks. And Remastered, after a while, it just gets stale, man. Like, it just gets boring. It's There's no switching it up with killstreaks or attachments. And the maps are very bland, in my opinion, sometimes. So it's like, it's still a fundamentally better game than Infinite Warfare, but it's lackluster. It doesn't provide that same spark that, you know, when Black Ops 2 came out or when Black Ops 3 came out or even Modern Warfare 3, you know, those were all games that I, were a I was able to play the entire life cycle until the next Call of Duty came out. So I've kind of been in a weird, wonky situation where... I don't want to play Call of Duty. And that's, I've never ever had that happen. You know, like you can ask all my friends, you can ask my girlfriend. Whenever the new Call of Duty came out, I literally played it and I played it all the way through the end of its life cycle. The only two games that I wasn't able to do that for was Ghost and Advanced Warfare. And. I'm not saying it's going to happen to this game. It is for Infinite Warfare. I'm probably never, ever going to play that game as long as it's around. But Remastered, I do. You know, I stream it and all that stuff. But what I want to talk to you guys is you've probably seen a lot of Overwatch on the channel. And you're probably going to see a little bit more of Borderlands 2 on the channel. Just because I can't get excited about Call of Duty right now. You know, maybe when you know, Sledgehammer releases information about their new Call of Duty and we all find that it might be boots on the ground. It might be set in the Vietnam era. You know, kind of give us something to fuel the excitement, get the COD hype rolling. But as for right now, I'm just kind of complacent with Call of Duty. It's like, I don't even really play it Unless, you know, my, my, my homies, you know, Excalibur Zero, IB2 Lazy, Carolina Man, like if everybody's getting online and we're all going to play and have fun, oh, Captain Trips too, you know, so it's like one of those things where it's like if IB2 Lazy can't get on because, you know, of her life, you know, and Excalibur Zero who lives, you know, on the West Coast, so he's three hours behind where I'm at on the East Coast, it's just hard to, to if, if, if all parties can't get together and play, it's just kind of like, well, what do I do? Because after playing it for a while, you just kind of get boring. And I've never been in this predicament. And it's kind of weird because it's like, I, it's almost like sometimes I force myself to play it just out of natural habit, like natural, like, oh, Jay Les, you got to pop in some Call of Duty and stuff like that. But it's like, I'm not really like having fun. Like I'm not enjoying playing Call of Duty, I'm not enjoying, like, I remember in Black Ops 2, I probably hit Master, like, Grandmaster Prestige probably five times in that game. I, I ranked all the way up, reset my stats, ranked all the way up. I probably did that five times just because it didn't matter whether my friends were online or not. I would hop in there with my mic on and just talk to people and just try to have, and I had a great time. Demolition was really fun in that game. Um, it was awesome when you could get dogs and swarms and stuff like that. So, but this year's Call of Duty, even though Remastered's a good game, it's just lackluster for me. So, what I what the challenge I'm proposing for you guys is I've played many different games this year. Some you've probably seen on the channel, some you haven't. Um, let's start with Rainbow Six Siege. I know I did post, I think I post in the very beginning some Rainbow Six Siege gameplay. I've I've re I've 
you know, I did the division. I got the division as a birthday present from my homegirl, I Be Too Lazy. Uh, I branched out to Overwatch, you know, got the uh, the Handsome Jack Collector's Edition for Borderlands 2 and the prequel. So it's just like I'm kind of starting to branch out to other games, you know, because this is a perfect time to do it because it's like, well, right now, Call of Duty's kind of dry. It's kind of nice to go out and test the waters like, okay, well, what other games would I like to play? And one thing is everybody's going to say, oh, well, what about Destiny or what about Titanfall 2? Titanfall 2, I heard, is a good game. Destiny, I'm, it goes to the thing where I, I'm not the sci-fi, even though Borderlands is, is kind of sci-fi, but it's like the graphics kind of are cartoony. So it's almost like I'm playing like... Uh, the kids next door cartoon edition. You know what I mean? It's like, but destiny tries to bring realism into a sci-fi game. And it's just like, I'm, I'm not into battlefront. I'm not into that kind of shooter. I know a lot of people are, but it's just not my cup of tea. So I choose borderlands. Cause I, I like the goofy graphics. I like how the game is kind of uncensored in terms of its lingo. So but, but th- like I said, this is a perfect time for, for everyone, you know, who's a Call of Duty fan to kind of go out there, see, you know, do, do you like The Division? Do you like Destiny? Do you like Titanfall? You know, like go out and try like different types of multiplayer games because it's like Call of Duty is starting to to show its true colors in terms of its its approach to making the game you could kind of tell that it's turning into more of a business standpoint than it is about making a fundamentally sound game. And the crazy thing is, is I, a lot of people love black ops three, you know, and it's just like, it's all about the developers, you know, like I just feel like the development team in infinity Ward just isn't strong. You know, like you have like, Vonderhaar over at Treyarch, you know, he, I don't know. I feel like his team, like they know, like Activision doesn't have to tell them anything. Like they already know exactly what they're going to do, how they're going to execute it. And that's why I feel like Treyarch games are just overall more successful than Infinity War games. And I can't really speak on Sledgehammer. I guess we have to wait to see what they do with this game. But out of Infinity War and, and Treyarch, I feel like Treyarch has had the most love from the community. And on top of that, they put out a better quality product every year. Black Ops, one top three COD. Black Ops 2, arguably my favorite COD. Black Ops 3, arguably my second favorite COD. So none of the Infinity Ward games are mentioned, and neither is the Sledgehammer game. So that tells you that you could call me a Treyarch fanboy, but at the bottom line, it's just Treyarch makes the better game. And if they make the better game, I'm going to enjoy playing the better game. So that's just my standpoint on the matter. I feel like every gamer should try to expand their gaming portfolio, for lack of a better term, just because it's like if you broaden your horizons, you might find out that you like a game that you never thought you would like. And that's the coolest thing. I never thought that I was going to like Overwatch, but Destiny bought it for me for Christmas. I popped it in and I love the shit out of that game. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. I really appreciate all my subscribers and all the support. Thank you guys very much. And I'm going to have to catch you guys on the flip side here. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me.